But anyway, here we are. We are in 2023, and it's Monday, and our pig friend is still here. I've spent weeks looking for a better gift file than that, but he is so cool, we've left him in place. And, yep, that's usually people on Monday morning, that's what happens. People jump in. So here we go. We have Tupan, Avanoc, Regardless, and City Minting options up there. And I have to confess that the Tupan file you can see going there and the Avanoc file with the little plane going around, they're what's called GIF files. So they're like a very small movie file that play automatically on their own as soon as you show them. And for years, I have been paying people on the internet to create them for me when I needed one. And I never used them very often because the money it cost you kind of adds up. And a few days ago, I discovered that the software that I use to render the videos that I put up on YouTube has a button that says create GIF file. So I spent half a day trying to work out how to get it to work and they can only be so big and too many frames and not, not too long and all that sort of stuff. But I've now worked out the parameters and I've created those two and I'll work on some more so that we can use them in our emails, etc. Been an interesting time. So here we are on another Gold Monday. It's the 16th of January. I'm just astounded at how quickly that period went past where we had our regular Gold Monday meeting and then I was gone for a while. And that five weeks of being away went by really, really fast. We had all sorts of things happening in the world. I met lots of people and got lots of other options for us going forward. That I'm very sure, very sure, will be advantageous to us in the future. And I know that. Ms. Summers was there for those meetings as well, and it was really, really worthwhile going. Much as I hated to be overseas that long and crammed in a plane and all those sorts of things, it worked out all right. Not to mention the fact that um, I got attacked by an escalator in Kuala Lumpur. So one of these days we'll talk about that when everybody concerned has had a few whiskies. But here we are. Let's get amongst this and see what we can talk about tonight. Everyone goes forward together. That's our logo, our statement, our whatever you want to call it, and we mean it. We have absolutely got some good news for you if you haven't been on the other calls. Remember, we're expressing our view as affiliates only. We do not represent the companies we talk about. We do not give financial advice. We're showing you what we've discovered. And we hope that along the way, you get some advantage out of that by uh, taking advantage of what we're talking about or replicating it or whatever it is that you choose to do. So tonight, we're going to talk about a couple of merchants, a couple of very cool merchants. Love Day Vehicle Lubricants. I had some images that I was going to put up tonight, but they have changed from the first time I used Doug's oil. And I've been using oil supplied by Doug and Jenny for years now. I can't even remember how long it is and have nothing but the highest recommendations for it. So if you drive a vehicle, you need to change the oil. Get hold of Doug and get the right oil for your vehicle. It will save you money and it will create a better environment that your vehicle runs in and has some great outcomes. So here's their contact details. Uh, Doug, and, Doug and Jenny operate from a van and a truck, so they can be contacted on their email address there and their mobile 0439 723 847. So if you need to pause the video and write that down, go ahead. 
We will continue on, however. Now, here's the next thing. How would you like to get 2% of what you spent at Christmas back in your wallet? Minimum 2%. Now, I know that I spent a whole lot of money over Christmas on bizarre things like food and other things like drinks that could, in fact, save people a lot of money. And I did it all through gift cards with easy shopping cards. This is a simple, simple, easy way to improve your bottom line. Really simple, because you can do everything you want. You've got KO, eBay, Dan Murphy's for the guys. They're just on that list there. And Endota Spa for the ladies. And you want to give away an Endota Spa session, buy a gift card. Comes by email. Really easy to do. If you want to talk about what else is around, Rebel, BCF, super cheap. Not too many blokes in the world don't want to go shopping there. JB Hi-Fi, wish gift cards for Woolies. You can see the grocery card just under that. And Amazon. In the last couple of years, I've bought a considerable amount of small, electronic, gimmicky, gadgety, lighty looking things from Amazon. And it was so easy to do. You put your Amazon gift card in your Amazon wallet, spend it just like cash. It doesn't get much better than that. So Cassie, yep, Cassie's here. Cass, do you want to unmute and talk about anything that I've missed out on? Thank you, Mr. Miller. Yeah, why not? If people go to the website, the Easy Shopping Cards website, and go to the FAQs, which is in the top of the um, the menu there, it goes home, classic gift cards, electronic gift cards, that's how you order these days, then FAQs, right down the very bottom, you've got what are the ESC benefits paid on my e-gift cards? And it gives you the list, and we've actually got a couple that go up to 8% return. So that's 8% on stuff that you would be buying anyway, and it lists all of them in a nice, neat little alphabetical list for you there. And then underneath that, it says, how are they paid? And this is where people can nominate to either have their gift, gift card rewards paid back to the actual gift card wallet, so now if something costs you $100 and you've already got $2 from the last time you bought $100 something, you can put just put $98 into the bank and still order your, 98, your $100 card or $300, you'd have $6 sitting there. So just have a look through the FAQs and they're down the bottom, 34, 35, 36. The other thing is that you can nominate and they go straight into your AU4U wallet. So that's another cash wallet that you can then decide to say, oh, wow, I've got some extra money sitting here. I want to buy some more gold. I'm going to use that instead of putting money into the bank. I'm going to use what's in my wallet. Ask me how to do that because you do need a transaction number. But we've had lots of people. I, I know one pensioner lady, she uh, she actually ended up with, because she shops quite regularly, she ended up with $178 as a rebate just on her normal shopping. And she was ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic. And we've got one guy, he's a truckie. And uh, yes, and they do very well, don't you, Coral? And so yes, it, they get paid. It's definitely your money. It's just sitting there waiting for you to claim back either through your Easy Shopping Cards uh, shopping or through going through your AU4U wallet. But we've got lots and lots, 56 odd cards or 54 cards there that you can choose from. Okay, I think that's me. And any questions, just ring me. I'm here. Just try not to ring me after six o'clock, but seven days a week, I'm here. Talk to me and I'll talk you through it or whatever you need. Thank you. Okay, Cass, can you put your phone number in the little chat window there so people can get it if they don't have it? Yep. And it is very easy to shop that way. And heck, if you're going to spend $500 at Woolies over the um Christmas break, you might as well get the percentage back. 
And usually, I'm, and I'm not speaking from personal experience here, but usually over the Christmas period, there's a fair bit of money spent at Dan Murphy's. I'm just saying, I've heard that rumour. Malcolm Langford, in fact, told me that he spends a lot of money there over the Christmas period. So let me say we're going to have a conversation about silver. Now, I know we've been talking about gold and silver for a while, and it's been up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Tonight, I'm going to scare some people because I did a deep dive while I was away and came back and found even more information. We talked about last year the situation with silver being in deficit for the 2022 year. And that has been just blown out of the water, A, by what's happening in Europe with Mr. Putin and Mr. Ukraine throwing rocks at each other. But I'm going to give you some numbers tonight. That if they don't blow the wax out of years, something's wrong. I could not believe these numbers. I was muttering to myself, checking the calculations, had to get on Google and recheck it and recheck it. And they're right. So if you know about silver, you know that the phrase born with a silver spoon in his mouth, it's been around a long time. And it was originally brought out to mean that somebody grew up with a silver spoon, meaning the family had money. And silver was used because it actually is very good at neutralizing toxins. So it has a, a huge wide range of uses in the commercial world, not just the things that we think about automatically, but silver is magic in lots of applications. For example, when, when the West of America was opened up and they were sending wagon trains from the East Coast to the West Coast, when they were going across the deserts, the people in those wagons put a silver dollar in the bottom of their water barrel, and that kept the water from going rancid because the silver leached, we now call them nanoparticles, into the water that kept it clean. Very, very interesting story. So let's have a look at what's going on. Silver supplies will be depleted and industrial demand will suck up all the silver that's available over the next 10 years causing silver prices to rise and making it the best investment in decades, according to David Morgan, founder and author of The Morgan Report. Now, I've been following this guy for quite a while. He's been on Kitco and uh, did a little webinar a while ago where, that was recorded. But this was his actual statement. Wait a bit, it gets worse. This is where he's saying... No investment will be better than silver. So this came from another interview that he did uh, shortly after that chat that he had on Kitco. Why? Why does he think silver is the way to go? Well, the supply crunch that's coming is because 70% of silver is a result of base metal mining like lead and zinc. So Mount Isa Mines, big mine in Australia, silver, lead, zinc, because the silver occurs where the other two metals are. The minute there's an economic downturn and that base metal mining slows down, that takes a massive amount of silver supply off the market. Who'd have thought? Interesting, isn't it? So the price that silver's going into and the use that it's being sucked up at is increasing the consumption 16% year on year. And look at that number in red. At 194 million ounces, this deficit will be a multi-decade high and four times the level seen in 2021. 
194 million ounces. 194 million ounces is 5,499 tonnes. Not kilos, tonnes. That's a lot. That, that's a stupid amount. We've been talking about these deficits for a while, and now it's just blowing out of proportions. But think about that. How exactly is there any chance of producing the millions of electric vehicles that governments around the world are telling us they're going to mandate? Because every vehicle has a bunch of silver in it. Every electrical connection got silver on it. Yeah, 5,499 tonne deficit. The European Union has decided to ban the sale of petrol and diesel cars from 2035. 2035. 12 years away to boost electric vehicle uptake. Now, we already know that there's going to be a massive shortage of silver. But what about Sydney? Stop talking about the European Union. What about Sydney here in Oz? The Committee for Sydney has announced its plan to ban the sale of new petrol and diesel cars by 2027, four years away, in a bid to reach net zero emissions by 2050. 2027. That is insane. And yet these are people getting funded in the millions of dollars that we pay for with our taxes. It is a physical impossibility to do that. Have a look at the next bit. According to the new data, Sydney residents are not on track to meet the state's 2030 or 2050 net zero targets. Surprise, surprise. We will have petrol and diesel vehicles in this country for a very long time. The ability to implement enough electricity charging stations to deal with the complete switch into electric vehicles is just stupid. And you're right, Martin, lithium is the other thing that's going to be a problem in the batteries. Having said that, there's a number of other technologies coming to market that may, may solve that problem. And if you look at video of the mines in Africa and Asia where they're pulling lithium and other precious metals to electrify things is, is sickening. You're watching five-year-old children standing waist deep in toxic water to bring mud out and put it through a recycling or a, a sifting plant to get all sorts of base metals out of it. It is bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. And yet, Everybody in America turns a blind eye because they want a new iPhone. They think that they can say they're going to plug their phone in and therefore they're net zero because they're charging with electricity. No, it goes way beyond that. In fact, I listened to a podcast a few days ago where they're talking about vehicles uh, coming onto the market here in Australia and the electric vehicles taking... 10 years to catch up to a petrol or diesel equivalent just to get back to zero. Then you've got to replace the batteries. So you never get in front. It is absolute madness. The only way we're going to have net zero electricity is with a lot of renewables and nuclear. You know, we're, we're up in arms about shutting down one coal-fired power generation station and the Chinese are building 30 a week and we're worried about one it is insane some of the rules and regulations we are being forced to work and live under so I don't have the magic answer I just know that the road we're going down politically 
cannot work. It is not possible. So this all bodes well for us because we will have silver options in the market, unique blockchain options. The fastest blockchain in the world, the fastest settlement in the world, and cheap, the cheapest blockchain transactions. Yes, Martin, India has been disturbing for a long time. And it's those developing countries that are paying the price with their population for us to have iPhones, Samsung phones, all that sort of stuff. We need to change how we do that. I don't have the magic answer. I just know what we're doing now is not going to work. But once again, we, this collective group, are at the forefront of this change because we're bringing a solution to the market that will solve one of the issues with metal and the ability to store value in a way that you can access it. Two pans, one of those tokens. I'm really proud to be a part of this. We've had some lengthy discussions with the founder, and we'll have some Zoom calls with him in the coming weeks to further the idea of expounding the two-pan system and expanding it into Australia. So watch for news on that. There is a double incentive, and this was announced at the conference that I was at. It's called the double incentive, and it was first stated that it would be finishing on the 15th of this month, which is uh, yesterday. But they announced some point yesterday that they were going to extend it for a while. So it's now going until the 31st of the month. So let's just have a look at what that means in the real world. So when you purchase a minting node for either regardless or city, regardless is the movie, and city is the real estate. So let's just explore those two things. The regardless movie platform is the start of the tokenization of movies. So there's already two more movies and a mini series that will be attached to that minting node. They've already sold the movie into a lot of places. There's still a heap that they're negotiating but I'm reasonably confident that's going to go well. And I met the guy the movie was about, and I've seen the movie. We saw the world premiere while I was in Dubai. Very cool movie, very classy. Uh, like a, the first half of the movie is like a Mission Impossible movie. Um, really well done, really well done. City is the real estate environment. There's five projects in this first tokenization. Following up on that is some other real estate development projects that are coming. And I hope that we'll get this one through that's on the Gold Coast. So doing all that I can to assist that process to go forward. We'll see how we go. I think both of them are going to go fairly well. I'm probably, because I've never been really into commercial real estate, but lots of people are. I'd probably, in fact, we've got a regardless minting license and part of a city license as well. So I think they're going to go really well. Let's just look at this. If you buy one of those, if you've got a Zuni Cub, that's 998 euros. If you don't have a Zuni Cub, you can buy a full node, a full minting license for 1298. As a free bonus, you get a two-pan minting share, an eighth of a license. So that's 220 euro benefit, 17% discount on the purchase. If you buy a half share of one of those two, you get a 1 16th share of a two-pan hub, 135 euros, 19%. If you buy a quarter, it's a 1 32nd bonus, 25% improvement. They're really good value. And if all you do 
I mean, if, for example, let's let's say I don't like real estate, but I end up with a city minting node. At the moment, if you're buying it now, it's going to pay for itself in eight or nine months. They're not going to finish that development for another year or two before they've got all five projects out. So that coin is going to increase in value over that time, but it'll be paid off at three and a half cents in eight or nine months. That's the bit I like about it. And so I can then, if I don't like it, I can divest myself of those coins. I've got my money back and it's going to continue to mint for a while. And depending on the maths, et cetera, it could take eight or 10 years to finish minting. Remember, this promotion is extended until the 31st of January. So you've got, uh, what are we, 16, couple of weeks. It's worth investigating. So tonight, I also wanted to look at and show you the updates in the two pan minting. Now, this is a license that's been minting from the start. So it's probably five months in. It is at 520 euros at the current price. And they've now turned on the ability to move the two pan tokens out of your Saphir wallet into the swap. And you can swap them into other cryptocurrencies that you can sell. So you can actually turn that into cash today. I have not done that yet. I will need to go through the exercise so that I've seen it and can tell you how it works. But notice this, if you look in your back office at two pen minting, it will have a little arrow there and a little up arrow. And if you click on it, it shows you a heap more information. And it looks like that. Now this is an old picture and I chose to stay with the old picture at this point to point something out. This is where that tree at the top is cooperating with another hub to mint the tokens. These terms are all in there like irrigated. I mean, you're not really going to irrigate something in your computer, are you? But they're there to remind us that the rainforest is the beneficiary of what we're doing. It's a great way to do it. Here's a, a look at children from those two trees above that are already blooming. Again, terms to denote the rainforest and bring attention to it. But have a look at this. Notice under that tree, it says estimated reward dot, dot, dot. Now I could not figure out what that meant. Now I have figured it out. And here's, have a look at the numbers in the two little boxes on this next slide. You'll see that the numbers are changing. So what this is, is a screen capture of the tokens and the minting actually working. Now, this is another one of those little GIF files. So it'll go for a little while and go black and start again. But you can see those numbers changing. And that's because it's actually showing you how the minting is working. It's a great way to do it. And what else, you know, when you look at it, think, yep, that's where the, the tokens come from. It's actually working. And it's great to see it. So you can all, if you have a two-pan license or part thereof, it's on the left-hand side menu. You go down to two-pan, and then it'll say two-pan minting, and you can open it, and there you go. It will show you the number of tokens that your website is minting by the second, basically. I mean, that's a, about a 15, 20-second screenshot, and you can see those numbers changing. It's really very cool. So here we have Zanik, the blockchain, the engine room, the roadmap, the Roman road that all this is built on. Sophia is the people system, Tupan. What else do we need to say? 
have a knock, regardless of the movie. Sido in German, CD in English. And AU for you, the security of metal. All of those projects are coming to life as we speak and watch them. And I have to say, absolutely amazed at the quality of the people that I met at the tokenization conference, the first one. Um, every single one of them answered every question I threw at them. There was no shuffling around because they didn't have the answers. They didn't mind if I took photographs. They didn't mind if I recorded a video. There was no smoke and mirrors. The only place I was not allowed to photo or video was inside the technical meetings that I had where they had confidential documents out on the table. And I have to say, I understand exactly why that was like that. But we've talked about the projects that are coming live, the uh, gamers that are coming online. And I show this graph fairly regularly. And that's a new snapshot today. The purpose of me showing it is that you can see it's still curving up. It's doing what they told us it would do. And there's really, there's only a couple of projects that are live. The minting will start on the, on the regardless and the city platforms, which will chew up transactions on the blockchain. And every time they do that, they take some eight coins off the market, which will, in fact, force the price up. And if you go back and have a look at, uh, is it coin market cap? Go and have a look at that, and you will see that the price of the Zenit coins is coming back up again. It is starting to uh, roll along like a champion. I was thinking about buying some more coins just a few days ago, and it's gone up 15 or 20% since I looked at it. Oh, yeah, I should buy some of these. Well, they're cheap. Yeah, right. Eh? Good on you. Uh, they're still cheap, mind you, and I will still do it. I'll probably get that done tomorrow. So, folks, I'm, I'm so excited to be part of this business because finally we have access to a real business that connects us to real businesses, and we don't need to be there. This is real, live, residual income. Those minting licenses are ticking away every day. It's fantastic. So anyone still got doubts? Because apparently what we've been doing is now becoming mainstream. Who would have thought? People that laughed at me and ridiculed me when I first started to talk about this. There was a few of them. But the amazing thing is, I can prove that this is working. I was approached over the last two years by probably three or four other projects that all turned out to be Ponzi schemes. And I go through the due diligence that I've come up with over the last 10 years to filter out the ones that I know I'm not interested in. And this one passed every test. And I've been in the office. I've met the founders. I've met the guys with the money. They've answered all the questions I could think of. And it was a fantastic trip. So we are talking about this taking over. This project is going to take over the business world, tokenizing of assets, because you no longer need a, a, a physical paper trail. When these assets are written onto the blockchain, it's there, it's done. Everything happens in one transaction. Our thoughts and prayers to everyone in the Ukraine. I know it seems like we've been talking about this for a long time. It is, it's nearly a year going up really close to a year and looking at the pictures of the destruction in the Ukraine is horrendous. And thankfully, I'm probably just a, just a couple of months 
past the conscription age. Uh, therefore, I probably wouldn't get conscripted even if it came to uh, having an argument with some country near us in the near future. But as long as they gave me a couch and a whiskey bottle and an SLR, I could be very handy. Now, let's have a look at our report on what's going on on the internet. Here we are with Mr. Heiser, and he's showing a report that says Sydney housing is going down 45%. And I know the same thing is happening in uh, Brisbane. Inner city real estate is quite seriously crashing. But I think they'll always, you know, we'll always have a market for the places we live in. But you can't believe how some of these people thought these bubbles were going to survive. And here's another bad sign Goldman Sachs fires 3,000 employees. That's a bank. So they know that there's a downturn coming, they know that the economies are going to be in a world of hurt. We're at least going to have the ability to do transactions in metal. Pretty unique. Mike Maloney, another lecture on why gold and silver is the place to be in 2023. Well worth listening to. I will put all of these links in the description of, on the YouTube channel so everyone can listen to the ones they haven't found already. And Peter Grandich talking about the fact that stocks, as in the New York Stock Exchange, the Dow Industrials, all that stuff, will not make new highs in his lifetime. Okay. Because they went to stupid highs when the government was throwing money at them to keep them open. But, you know, lots of other businesses in the world didn't get enough subsidies. I have a good mate who started a business many years ago, had a couple of hundred employees when COVID hit and they just filed for, they've been pushed into liquidation because they couldn't keep their doors open anymore. The, the, the flu that came through, the Heineken flu, that pushed them into a corner that evaporated all their cash reserves and all of those people are now out of work. It's very sad. And here's Mr. Wagner talking about gold at 2,400. We're at 1,900 now. So there's quite an upside to come there. I think we'll get there this year without any doubt. I think there's going to be enough uncertainty in the world that gold and silver will climb very high. And our friend, Greg, <laughs> he's talking about here that Standard & Poor's, the people who do credit reports, are warning that gl the global debt situation is not sustainable. Well, gee, you think? I just, you look at the amount of debt that our governments and major businesses hold at the moment that are being propped up by central banks that creates more debt it's a nonsense to think that it is sustainable. And Mr. Manorino just makes me laugh the way he calls a spade uh, a bleeping shovel. So amazing stuff happening in the world right now. And we are a part of it. In fact, we are out in front and leading the way with solutions. And I'm very happy to be in this position. So what now, if you're new, you're listening to this from somewhere, we're in the right place to benefit from the economic mess that's around us now. It's free to add a wallet. Uh, coin token minting starts at 100 euros and up. And we're already finding, in fact, Mr. Langford came up with a solution today for using the Zanik system in an ordinary sustainable business that operates today. And it solves a major problem. It's free to get a wallet. They can do it. Interesting, isn't it, when you start to put your mind to where this can go. 
Stay focused on the package, gold, silver, and our crypto and blockchain. I'm, I'm not promoting Ethereum. I'm not promoting Bitcoin, although Bitcoin's had a revival. Yep, they all will have somewhat of a revival. I want something that's got an asset behind it, has some sustainability. We're a group of like-minded people focused on our economic survival. And if we don't pay attention, we are going to be in the same boat as everybody else. The bottom line is everything we knew as normal has gone and it's gone fishing. And it ain't coming back. We need to be at the forefront of what's happening. Everything we've ever talked about on these webinars is coming true. Everything. And that scares me a bit because I've talked about some fairly negative stuff that hasn't happened yet. But our track record, 100%. Isn't that astounding? So another subject completely separate. Coming up soon, we're going to do a little webinar to talk to people about uh, situations where they're trying to recover funds that have been sent to trading or investment platforms, um, carrot bars, cashback rule, MTI, et cetera. We're going to do a private webinar for those people so that you get an understanding of what we've discovered in the last few months and what's coming down the road. We've spent a large chunk of money on legals in Europe and we will have some outcomes this year. So just to keep you in the loop, I suggest you pay attention when that email comes out and we'll get together on that and share some information with you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the dawn of a very new era is here for us and we are a part of it. Has anyone got any questions from what we've talked about tonight? Don't see any hands waving, somebody typing. Is any leads on future projects? Yes, Martin, there are some real estate projects in Australia that I think will be attached to the city license. Um, there are some major projects coming around precious metals, one of which is, is our option, uh, but some other ones as well around multiple different uh, metals and a number of different real estate options that are coming. So they're just the ones that I know about. There's some other platforms in Europe that are looking at coming on board. Did I know that 2PAN was on Bitmart? Yes, I did. Um, it's been released onto Bitmart and I believe is going on to other uh, exchanges as well in the near future. I think the Zanique coin is going on some different exchanges as well. But thanks for the reminder, Jenny. I hadn't talked about that. Yes, indeed we are, Mr. Martin. We are assembling defensive and offensive assets. I'm very happy with the road we're on. I just don't know where we'd be without the stuff we've got in the pipeline now that we started two years ago. It was a punt when we started. I believed in it, and wow, it's turned out to be exactly on the money. So thanks, everybody, for coming along. Our first Monday night of 2023, and I expect in the coming months we may, in fact, have to do some one-off sessions and record them so that people can uh, listen to them at their leisure as we get more and more information that's coming in. So thanks, everybody, for joining us. We look forward to seeing you on the golden beaches of the world. Have a great night.